Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to explore fifth point uh, in terms of uh, best practices while writing the lambda expression. So fifth point says keep lambda expressions short and self-explanatory. So here is the explanation saying that if possible, use one line constructions instead of a very large block of code. Remember lambdas should be a, an expression, not a narrative. And despite its concise syntax, lambdas should precisely express the functionality they provide. This is mainly a stylistic uh, advice as performance will not change drastically. Right? So if you write lambda, I mean with a single line of code or block of code then performance wise there is no drastic change in general however it is a much easier to understand and to work with such code this can be achieved in many ways let's have a closer look on each and every point so in this uh, category we have a several points so first point we are going to explore avoid blocks of code in lambda's body in an ideal situation lambda should be written in one line of code with this approach the lambda is a self-explanatory construction which declares what action should be executed with what data right so if you have a large block of code lambda's lambda's functionality is not is not immediately clear so what i'll do so let's start with uh, one small i mean example so that we can understand this point whatever is uh, said in point number 5.1 so uh, to make this demo i'm going to use a functional interface right so functional interface is a uh, one of the i mean uh, one of the uh, or you say you can say i'm going to use by functional interface right so it's a one of the functional interface uh, which is available in the java dot uh, dot function interface so by by function interface takes two input parameters so both input parameter i'm taking as a string and uh, we process these two input parameters and we uh, get the result so result here also i'm taking as a string itself but you can take any data type now i would say by function and here by by function has a one abstract method is called apply which takes two input parameters and we uh, process this input parameter we apply some business logic and finally we return one object and these three i mean these two input as well as return type both are generic right all uh, three parameters are generic so here what i'll do so here i'm going to define lambda lambda expression for this method apply method right so what i'll do so here i'm going to define a lambda for this guy so uh, this uh, i mean functional this is functional interface as a method is called up, uh, apply which takes two input parameters right and these two input parameters are a string only right so let's take first input parameter is s1 which is a string itself then second parameter is 2 which is a string itself then i'm going to write a lambda expression in terms of block i'm not going to write this lambda expression uh, uh, within a single line right block of we, we are going to we are going to write more than one statement within the lambda expression that's why we have a open and close parenthesis right and now here i'm going to write a string right i, I would say uh first name first name i mean person first name equal to i would say s1 dot two sorry that is s1 dot two uppercase right we have a method is called two uppercase so first name we are just let's suppose first s1 is a first name and s2 is a last name so just we are converting into the I mean uppercase right and similarly we are just converting last name into uppercase itself and that is s2 and final result we are getting like a string result sorry 
result equal to I would say first name and just I'm uh, separating first name last name with a, a tab and this is called last name and finally just we are returning this result right so this is the lambda expression we have written inside a block right now we can call method on it right so we have a method is called apply right so sorry we have a method is called apply and apply method ask you to supply to i mean first name as well as last name so i would say son is the first name and last name i'm going to specify murphy and this guy is going to return us a result right that is the nothing but the full name and just i'm trying to print the same result right okay and we got the shown murphy which is separated with tab right and first name and last name is i mean converted to the capital letter and this first name and last name is separated with the tab right so if you look into this lambda expression then this lambda expression contains more than one statement that's why we have given the curly bracket open and close right so this kind of lambda expression we can refactor so let's refactor it and say get full name something like this and you can refactor it and you can put it in the separate private method and after that after that again some of the unnecessary things you can remove from here right so uh, uh, when you write a lambda expression i mean for any functional interface method then you don't need to specify if your lambda expression uh, contains only one statement then you don't need to specify return a statement explicitly so i'm gonna return i'm going to remove this one return a statement right again if your lambda expression contains only one statement then you don't need to specify open and close parenthesis at all right so that i'm going to remove now you can see your lambda expression is very short and crispy right so now now you have refactored this code and you have put it you, you have kept into the separate private method and your lambda expression became in single line right so that's the thing i wanted to convey you in this point i hope you understood right so that's all about this point point five point one now let's move to the next point so next point that is 5.2 saying that avoid specifying parameter types right a compi compiler in most cases is able to resolve the type of lambda expression uh, parameters with the help of type inference so something is called type inference so compiler is very able to decide what type of parameter what is the type of the uh, i mean lambda expression uh, input parameter so therefore adding the type to the parameter is optional and can be omitted right uh, so i have written in the slide do this right here a and b we haven't specified the type but here you can specify the type so if lambda expression can uh, use internally type inference to know about the other type of these two parameters so specifying the type is irrelevant right so you can here if uh, you can see here here you can specify the type right if type but uh, and this will compile successfully right but here is specifying the type is unnecessary right this is so here you don't need to specify the type at all because lambda expression when you write lambda expression uh, for any functional interface and functional interface is having only one parameter so uh, this uh, functional method knows what's the type of these two input parameter right so while declaring this by function you have given the string a string both input as a string so uh, i mean uh, lambda expression can use internally type inference to decide what's the type of these two parameters so specifying the type of parameter is irrelevant and you can omit this one as 
I have shown in the uh, this slide. So that's the all thing I wanted to convey in this point. Now third point. Now third point is says avoid parenthesis, right? Around a single parameter. So, lambda syntax requires parenthesis only around more than one parent parameter or when there is no parameter at all, right? So here you can see this lambda expression contains two input parameter. That's why we required a, this parenthesis. If lambda expression does not contain any input parameter, still you need to specify this parenthesis. But your lambda expression contains only one input parameter. In that case, you can you can omit this parenthesis. So let me show you this through an example. So what I'll do, I'll make you make use of the one of the existing uh, functional interface that is a function itself. There is a function interface which takes one input parameter and gives you the result. So I would say input parameter is a string itself and output parameter is a, a string only, right? And I'm going to define lambda expression for this functional interface. So here uh, I can define S, right? Initially I'm giving the, giving the uh, parenthesis and I would say high and just I'm concatenating S, right? And here we can call a method on it, right? So function dot again we have a method is called apply and here I'm going to call uh, just I'm going to call this method by passing on a string is called so on and if I try to print it value of apply then that will print high shown right so let me show you so saying that high shown but here this lambda expression contains only one parameter so specifying this parenthesis is optional so you can remove this parenthesis now still this 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 is this will work perfectly fine right so that's the point i wanted to convey you if your lambda expression contains only one parameter then you don't need to specify the parent parenthesis surrounding the your input right input parameter so you will have to use like this instead of this now next point in this list we have avoid return type and braces right so braces and return statements are optional in one line lambda body uh, this means they can be omitted for the clarity and conciseness so you i would say you you will have to do like this right uh, just you are converting in lower case and returning the value so lambda expression easily can recognize so this value has to return to the caller and instead of writing a return type explicitly right so what i'll do i'm running out of time so point number 5.4 and 5.5 i'll do in next video tutorial so please be with me over there and thanks for watching this video and this code i'm going to upload on the github so that you can download it and uh, you will try to understand on your local machine thanks for watching this video and see you next